Friday, October 14th, midnight. I feel like I've risen from the dead in a way. I'm getting comments from people, people are phoning me. Fundraising has just taken off. I'm Sullivan, yes. Uh, hold him on later, how are you feel? Sam Sullivan. Oh, what do you want to say? 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 Probably going to be the busiest six days of your life. Let's listen to a remarkable man. My dear, dear friend, Sal Sullivan. So I went into the votes and I looked at them all and... So I don't know if that's against the art, but, you know... She's saying she wants to ask you about the Olympics. Fucker. Good. Good. Okay. Was this quite a day? Just grinding out, grinding out things, um, going to events. Uh, there's 27 candidates. Of course, I have to go to at least 27, 26 fundraisers. And there's a lot of collecting votes, encouraging people. Encouraging people. That's my job. I have to be the team leader, encouraging people. You know, come on, get along there. We gotta move. Way to go. We're getting close. 35 more days. 35 more days. I could be the mayor. Get up. <laughs> okay, Don, yeah, I'll have to go now. I've got some people here. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye. How did your speech go? You're like, which one? <laughs> better than I thought. Really? See, the top teeth are much whiter than the bottom teeth because I'm bleaching them. And it's not clear to me who wins, who gets to be the mayor. The guy with the better ideas or the guy with the whiter teeth. Take my tie off now. Face <laughs> over. We have a real problem. We have a relationship problem. She doesn't communicate. I don't get enough information. She makes <laughs> decisions he's on the phone arbitrarily. All the time, so he doesn't get enough information because he's never on, never off the phone. I spent the whole dinner not on the phone, specifically not answering phone numbers. I got three missed messages. I got 98 emails. I didn't sit there looking at my emails. I didn't sit there answering phones, listening to my voicemail. No, what did I do? I paid attention to people. I was sociable. It was a rare moment, Joe. It was a rare moment. He was actually sociable without a purpose. <laughs> That's because I made 25000 in the in the lobby. I thought a guy to agree to put me. Twenty-five thousand into the into the campaign. Now that you're near, it's time to see And I Sam Sullivan in the audience. It's now or never. Mayor Sullivan, come hold me tight. Kiss me, my darling. Lynn has been my 
my Beatrice, my Beatrice of Dante. She's been that muse or that person that's motivated me for so many years. I mean, I fell in love with her when I was nine and she was ten. Just uh, remember playing in the backyard and looking over the fence and there was the car pulled up and heart skipped a little beat, you know, oh, 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 what's going on here? New neighbors. In the middle of summer, you know, we'd go out to play and I remember I always wanted to be around her. So I'd learn how to play skip and, you know, if I could hold the rope, she was tolerant of me. The whole journey that started off that led me to be the mayor was to impress her, to say, hey, you know, I am someone that, you know, you should take seriously and that maybe, you know, I should take myself seriously. So she motivated me all these years. 37 years later, I'm still in love with the same girl, you know. It's now out of here. It was great seeing Ricky yeah. playing all the same songs. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hilarious. It's beautiful. We have to learn how to dance. We should be yeah. inventing our own dances. It's funny how uh, General Jang was really quite Adamant, you've got to fight that Jim Green. Is that what he's saying tonight? Yeah. Da, da bai. You've got to defeat the da bai. Well, see? Downtown east side. Jim Green's really had an effect here. So the Chinatown people are so distressed with, you know, one block away from Chinatown. Here we have open drug, drug market and then the police decided to clean things up and pushed everybody out in the streets where they are now so in a way doing us a favor giving putting them right in our face okay so here we go and there's a police car sitting right here watching it all must feel totally helpless you can't treat people in a special facility and then send them back to the environment where they develop their addiction. You know, I think that the community-based programs are, are more interesting to me. Yeah. Well, it's pretty close, pretty volatile situation. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah.
Lynn. Yep. I think you'll have to help me a bit just because I gotta get going. Also, I don't know what happened. This little crap. Somewhere there's a Highlander in my blood. I believe that the, the citizens, I, I, I believe that I, I, I believe the voters will agree with me. It's about how you look way more than what you say. They say on television that people pick up 70% or some figure like that just from watching it like 20 30 percent from what you're saying well, i think we should do another one just, a, just oh a so i think you have enough tanning don't you think just a once over lightly you were in there yesterday getting tanned was it yesterday yes it was yesterday we took you yesterday for your tan okay how's my case i think you look great but it's just i got this spot